Here's a speed threat. Tim Wood. The afternoon for Atlanta. The center fielder. Number 84. Drilled in the air. Right field. Way back there. And that is out of here. His 64th home run of the season. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. Now it's Randy Arozarena, fourth on the National League home run leaderboard. Good plate oh. appearance there, able to take the walk. Now this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Throw to first, Arozarena dives back. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Going, Here's Kevin Pillar. A Rosarena on the move. Throw to second and great jump. A Rosarena leads off second with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Pickoff moved to second and he's back in easily. And a pitch. And this one bounces away from Garver. Catcher has it, fires the first. And on the wild pitch, he goes down to third. Now batting Jordan Luplo. 2 1 now. Strike on the inside corner. This might be the most pressure you put on this guy today. You got one run in, you got to try to get another one or maybe two. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Here is Matt Olson. Carries the eighth best batting average in the National League entering play. There's a strike at the knees. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. The 1-2. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. And now a single might score two. Still two and two after the foul ball. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. One down, runners at second and third. Lifted in the air, right center field. Reynolds on the run. He's got it, runner tagging from third. It's a sack fly as he comes across to score. It's 2-0. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Towards first. Oh, wow. nice play. Throw to first, and that's a great play for the out. Back here at PNC Park. And up. now the shortstop, G1 Bay. Not shortstop. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Swings through that. Anderson, he has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. Now, here is Connor Joe. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash, and because of that, Ball. confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. Joey Manessis, the next pirate to hit. The pitch. 
That clips the zone. Two balls, two strikes. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to have a laser-like focus, slow everything down, stay right in that moment, pitch to pitch, execution, and focusing on that catcher's mitt. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. And his season of strikeouts continues with number 250. All set for the start of the he inning. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Marcelo Ozuna. And a pitch. Swung on, belted. That one's carrying. Gone. That'll fire up the dugout. Home run number 30 on the year. It's 3-0. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. 0 for 4 in the win last night. On the ground. And it foul goes ball. just foul. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Swings through it for the K. Had him out front for strike three. Here's Orlando Arcia. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Makes the grab. Two down. Back to the top of the lineup. And next for Atlanta, Tim Wood. He's already homered here in this one. The wind and the pitch. That one missing inside. Yeah, the 2 1 hammered, but foul. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that's the third out. We head to the bottom of the second at the plate for Pittsburgh. Brian Reynolds. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Wood makes the grab one away. Jack Sawinski now at the plate. One down, base is empty. Fought off foul. And he deals. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Good two strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it right on time. Good balanced approach and just blasted it through the infield. Sawinski, the base runner at first with one out. He's getting the barrel to the balls. Just got to work on that timing a little bit. The one two. Fights it off. He'll see another. And yeah, the right hander deals. That nope, one misses. Two balls, two strikes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Sets him down looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Man at first. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. The 1-1. One -one. And a foul ball. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. New inning getting started. Now in for the Braves, Randy Arozarena. Right-hander kicks deals. 
It looks like the weather oh. could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well, and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. So now to the plate for Atlanta, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin Pillar. Kevin Pillar. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. Jordan Luplo next up for the Braves. His first at bat was a strikeout. And a ball and two strikes. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Down and full. Two outs. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. As we go to the last of the third. And here's the first baseman, G-Man Choi. The wind of the pitch. That to right. Pilar under it. Puts it away for the out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Second baseman. Righty to the plate. And down on strikes. Two down. So the Pirates batting order turns over. Next to hit, G1 Bay. Let off the game with a strikeout. Righty delivers. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. And that's a double. Man at second here with two away. Now the third baseman, Connor Joe. And the righty deals. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Bay on its second with two down. Out to short. On the run, sends it over to first. And that is that. here at the ballpark start of the fourth and now the first baseman Matt Olson kicks and deals and delivers outside you know these Braves doing a great job Boog of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them it's not just the three runs they've already scored on top of that they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game hacks and misses it's a strikeout now it's the shortstop, Vaughn Grissom. Right 0 for 1 so the far. Vaughn Grissom. The wind of the pitch. Ground ball up the middle. On the run, throw to first. No play, that's an infield single. Now, the pitch. Next offering is downstairs. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Reynolds gets under it. Puts the squeeze on it. Out number two. And here's the catcher, Travis Dardo. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And a pitch. Bounced out to short. They take the force out, and that'll do it.
Welcome back. Ready to go. Ready to go. Bottom four. four. Right. Now it's the DH. Joey Manessis. Is a 1-1. One, one. They say it went. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. The pitch. That one off the mark. And a count, 2-1. 2-1. Two one. Two one. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And down on strikes he goes. Two gone. Now Jack Sawinski no digs in now. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. Left hand batter waits. And now two balls oh. and a strike. Way to lay off that fastball up two right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Wood settles under this one, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that's the inning. Harleen Garcia on a pitch out of the pen here. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Number 66, Harlan Garcia. And now here is Orlando Arcia. Popped out and foul ground first time through. And now the lefty. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Tim Wood next up for the Braves. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. The pitch. And that one That's just ball. missed off the outside edge. Two balls, one strike. Out towards right center. That's well struck. McCutcheon going back. Back some more. It bangs off the wall. Cut off. Throw to third. He's safe. And that's a triple off the wall. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now, Randy Arozarena blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. And now the right now fielder, that's Kevin Pillar. Right Kevin Pillar. And here it comes. Nope. Oh. And now the count down. filled up three and two. We'll see another payoff pitch. He's begging, give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Could be extra bases. Runner from third comes across, and it's 4 nothing. And that's a double. Comes through with the RBI. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. And here is Jordan Luplo. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. The strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. No, that's, that's inside, that's and that's ball two. It's a good take. Next offering ball misses, down. and it's three and two. Yeah. 
Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. We head to the bottom of the fifth at the play. Mitch Garver. The catcher. Mitch Garver. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One down. Now right and now it's Andrew McCutcheon. Caught looking his first time up. Next pitch downstairs, down. and it's two and one. And now two and two. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Now this is in the air down the line. Hauls it in for the out. Just pulled off of it a little no, bit no, right no. there. That the front shoulder baseman. coming open instead of staying closed. Four. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Next pitch oh. misses. And now three and one. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And there's the strike. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. This one in the air right field. Pilar gets under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Robert Stevenson will take over here. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. Here's Matt Olson. He's all for one. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. That misses. Ball two. You know, these Braves really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count off, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. Got it by him for the K. And next for Atlanta, Vaughn Grissom, one for two. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. The next pitch misses, and it's two and two. Belton fires. Got him looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters froze him for strike three. Two outs, base is empty. Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves. He's already homered in this game. Swings through that one. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Got him swinging. Back here in Pittsburgh, we, well, we go bottom four, six. Five, right. Now it's the second baseman, the second baseman. Rodolfo Castro. Castro. In the air, left field. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. G1 Bay, the next pirate to hit. Here comes a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Pilar moving under this one. He's got it. Two up, two down. Connor Good Joe, race, the two. next pirate to hit. Connor. Yeah. There's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Oh. Next one is off the play. Two the count two. now two and two. 
spotted looking for the K. Back here at PNC Park, and now the catcher comes up to him, Travis Darno. Here's a 1 1. Late with the swing there. I think he was sitting off speed there. The next offering misses, and the count's even at two. That's down and in. And that's ball, ball four. four. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. But as a hitter, you'll take that all day. Here's the second baseman, Orlando Arcia. Ball to strike. The pitch. And there's the strike. Runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Now so the batting order the turns team. over. Now the leadoff yeah. spot for the Braves, Whoa. Tim Wood. This guy has turned into a beast. Now a screamer into the outfield. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. Boog, I know you love the slug. Well, the slugging percentage is on the rise in this one. That's his third extra base hit of the game. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. Now it's the right fielder, Kevin Pillar. One for three. And the pitch. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. This one's got a chance. Banks off the wall. They add on as the run scores all the way from first. It's seven to nothing. He was all over that one. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. On the mound now for the Pirates, Chase DeYoung. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jordan Luplo. The pitch. Bows it back with two strikes. Still only one out here in the inning. And a 3-2. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Now bad, bad. Matt Olson up to the plate. Matt. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. One one now. And that's in for a strike. I think he was sitting off speed right there because he just let the fastball go by. Next one misses, and it's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next offering in the dirt. Three and two now. Got him. Good job at damage control right there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the seventh and extra. Bottom of the seventh to the plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH, Joey Meneses. And a 1-1. One -one. You know, these Pirates, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. And a 1-2. Gets a piece and stays alive. Here's a 1-2. 
Good eye in that oh, spot. Still two and two after the foul ball. Kicks and fires. Pitch misses there, and a full countdown. Ninety-nine miles per hour to finish him off. Brian Reynolds here. The wind and the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side. Olsen steps on the bag to up two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's a one one. Foul ball. The one two. And another ball. Way inside gets out of the way. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. We go to the eighth, and the batter will be the shortstop, Vaughn Grissom. That one fouled off, two and two. Swings and misses, and one out now. And now it's the Braves' DH, Marcelo Zuna. Right-handed reliever. Sneaks through, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right no, there. No, no. Pull that one right in the direction right, right. of the shifted defense, no, no, but no, no one could make a play on it. I mean, that's his approach, and it's probably not changing. And now Travis Darno going to count one and two. One, two. And he deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Man at first. Now it's the second baseman, Orlando Arcia. Orlando Arcia. Two outs. That one inside. Two balls and a strike. Just missed. No, and yeah, there's ball oh, four. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Tim Wood. On the ground, right side, and foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Struck him out looking. And welcome back. On to the bottom of the eighth. Now at the plate, Mitch Garver. The wide to kick the pitch. That's inside ball. And 
and he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. Anderson still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent. Really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. Next offering is foul back. 2-2 two -two now. He goes down looking. And now the right fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys putting a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. Everything came together for him. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And down on strikes. And there are two down. Rodolfo Castro getting ready to hit. McCutcheon, the runner at first with two gone. So impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Two balls, two strikes. Out to short. They get the force. And that ends the inning. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, David Bednar. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the bump. Now in for the Braves, Randy Arozarena. And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. That one outside. Now two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Ground ball right side. Throw over to Choi. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Now it's the right fielder, Kevin Pillar. The 1-1. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Nice grab, McCutcheon able to make that play. Two down. And here is Jordan Luplo. Righty delivers. And there's a ball. There's a strike. That one oh. drifts inside. You got a full count. Ah. Right through there. Got him. Out number three. New pitcher for the Braves, Joe Jimenez. He's pitching on two days rest. Joe Jimenez. And now the shortstop, G1 Bay. Not shortstop. G1 Bay. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. And now it's filled up. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. And a swing and a miss. And now just two outs away. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Connor Joe. Now 
next offering is down low and it's two and one and he pumps it a strike in the air right field Pilar makes the grab two down now up next for the Pirates Joey Manessis just one strike away and a swing and a miss and that is the ball game well, when you reel off eight wins in a row, you're this close to double digits. And now all of a sudden, it's a challenge within a challenge to get two more wins to get to 10. But there's definitely a high level of confidence that these guys are playing at right now. And that's one of those things. You don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to disturb things. Make sure the clubhouse guy is giving you the same good food he's been giving you all along. And you can keep this win streak going. This one ends 7-0. And the road team picks up the win and picks up... The